Shalom everyone. So I'm doing this video because a few days ago a Muslim YouTuber posted a video in which he specifically spoke about another apostate. However, he also generalized as well. And I have to say that I watched the video last night and watching that video, I think and believe that I lost a few brain cells. Um, sorry, I had to include some sarcasm. But the video is about 19 minutes and I don't think I will get those 19 minutes back of my life either. But um, like I said, he generalized as well about other apostates. And he himself is a convert to Islam. He is also a very practicing Muslim. He's a fundamental, um, so, is his, so are his friends and many Muslims that he knows as well. And he mentioned a few things and I sort of wanted to just do this video to let you guys know what he actually said and that will sort of help you understand the Muslim mindset when it does come to apostates even though many Muslims or lukewarm moderate Muslims are denying it. And he, as well as speaking to another certain apostate, in his video, like I said, he did generalize and sort of group us all apostates in the same group, if you will. And he pointed out that it is his belief that the people who have left Islam weren't real Muslims to begin with. But also stated that even if we were, we didn't really leave Islam for intellectual reasons rather we left it because we thought Islam was too hard for us and we didn't really want to follow all the rules that our desires kind of got the better of us and I don't know about other apostates but I believe that none of us left for that reason I believe even speaking for myself I did leave for intellectual reasons um, and being a messianic Torah observer now, I still follow rules, if you will. I still, um, you know, follow Yeshua. I still am, am obeying our Elohim. And so I'm not out there, and I never was out there, giving in to my desires or, or the many horrible things he did say that we left Islam for and so he not only said that but he called us and called that specific ap ap apostate sorry um, many names and one was weaklings that we are weaklings um, so I do want to just say before I read what he said exactly because I did write it down that there is a hadith that Muhammad has said that whoever leaves their religion, we are to be executed. So practicing Muslims will and do take that seriously, despite what moderate Muslims are saying. And so I do want to read now what he did say. So I'm pretty much quoting this Muslim YouTuber. It's a part of our religion and there's a reason for it. There's a reason why there's a capital punishment. Because people like you, that specific apostate he's talking to, so people like him, because of people like him, sorry, little weaklings who leave their religion and cause corruption in the land by spreading it, the capital punishment in Islamic law will be applied to you. Will be applied to you. We have no doubt and we're proud of that. Capital punishment will be applied in an Islamic state and we will be watching. And so that's kind of what he said. And it's people like him who, and I'm kind of glad at that, glad for that, that it is people like him, um, practicing, actual practicing Muslims who are actually admitting it instead of being fake and denying it and 
yes, so once the Islamic world, once the Muslims become a majority, the Islamic State, for a fact, without a doubt, will be executing apostates. And they will be watching and waiting for it. And so he's one of, I suppose, many, many practicing real Muslims who actually admits it. And so I just wanted to sort of read that out and let you guys know what actual practicing Muslims actually do think and believe, despite being told otherwise by non-practicing moderate lukewarm Muslims in their imaginary delusional beliefs. No offense, but it's kind of true. And yeah, there's so many people, you know, including this certain YouTuber actually, and many like him that have recently actually also been going around just acting like pure children. You know, making fun of apostates, especially the certain one, which I don't know whether I should name or not, but just going on their YouTube, spamming, writing horrific things, um, you know, especially this specific apostate, they've gone so far as to contact his wife on Twitter and just harass her. Um, and it's funny because from what I know so far, none of them have actually even tried to have a discussion with any apostate. And so they've just been assuming why we've left. And instead of defending their religion intellectually, and perhaps saying, oh, you know, you guys are lying. This is not what it says. They know, because they are practicing Muslims, that they can't really deny anything. And for the most part, they're not denying it. However, instead of, I suppose, defending their religion in a intellectual way, they've gone so far as to actually abuse certain apostates. Um, just, like I said, acting like children saying horrible things and so i think despite everything they are actually a true representation of islam because they also know that they can treat apostates like a piece of rubbish they can they can act like total jerks like they are now because islam allows it they know that infidels and apostates, you know, can be treated that certain way because we are going out of, out of our way to, uh, I suppose, you know, speak against Islam and Muslims. And that is not allowed in Islam, obviously. So they can, and they are allowed to not respect us. But it's such a shame because they could, you know, intellectually have that conversation. But like I said, they know that what we are saying is true, so they can't really deny it. Moderate Muslims obviously are denying it and pretending like Islam is tolerant and peaceful. But the true Muslims out there, the practicing ones, like this certain Muslim YouTuber, know the truth and obviously we will get our punishment once Muslims and Islam become a majority. But anyway, so yeah, I just wanted to do this video. And thanks for listening, I suppose. And until next time, shalom.